Well, nowhere's demand for gold more evident than in Dubai. The Emirates often called the city of gold for its historic role in the trade, and it's investing heavily to keep that title. Dubai imports from 130 countries, then re-exports to the rest of the world. Our reporter, Lara Satrakian, is there. Lara, Dubai's thirst for gold, it's unquenchable, isn't it? That's right, Mark. And gold is now the number one export out of here after oil. And they want to keep it that way. They've built a physical and financial market. There's a gold futures market here in Dubai. And traders tell me that it's an interesting microcosm of what's happening in the rest of the world of gold. The watchword being aggressive accumulation. I spoke to Tariq Kolati. He's believed to be the biggest trader of bullion in the Middle East. And he told me that what used to happen when prices would climb is that you'd see consumers taking advantage. They would go and sell their pieces of jewelry. This time around, that's not happening. We walked around the gold souk here in Dubai, which still handles much of the physical trade of gold in Dubai. And shopkeepers, they're saying that gold sales are up just about 100 percent, that some of them are now rationing sales to individual consumers. Mark? And what's Dubai, Lara, going to do to secure more of the gold trade? And is it working? Well, it's all about infrastructure, hard and soft, free zones, regulatory advantages to doing business here, security, even access to officials. The traders here are telling me that if they want a change in policy, they feel like they can make it happen because the government is so eager to attract them and keep them here. And what that does is make people more comfortable using Dubai as a hub, as the gateway to India, that an unquenchable thirst for oil, for, for gold in India. But it also brings down costs. Kuladi told me that it's 20 to 30 cents less to buy gold here than from a refinery in Zurich or a bullion bank in London. That's clearly very attractive. Then there's marketing. Dubai wants to be seen as a regional hub. They've even now created their own Dubai gold coin, a bid to potentially make it legal tender in this country. So a lot of this about diversification away from oil, away from uh, real estate, and really returning to the trading post model of uh, Dubai's own growth.